Welcome to a quick version of the longer one hour video. This video is aimed for someone who is already known and familiar with Houdini and they only want to just have the quick little bits to understand how this works. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load my low poly and high poly, which I've made in the previous videos before. We're going to also create nullets for low cage and high, which we're going to use in a moment to our Copernicus Baker. Anything we can do here in between can be used as modifications to tweak our model a little bit better for baking. Now let's jump into our Copernicus network. You can see already the result is over here. And here is our Baker setup. We're going to, of course, reference our low, high, and cage model if needed. They're all connected here into our Baker. We're going to use specific bake settings. For example, we can use the cage, which is optional. You can also here enable the UV boundary spilling option. You can also enable things like world normal, position data, curvature, edge, thickness, and so on. Enable all the maps you want. And we're also here going to enable a CD value, which is a custom color we sample from our high poly. As you can see over here, my high poly has a custom color set. And we're going to bake that as well into map uh, color ID and material IDs. And as you can see over here, we are using the chroma key notes to filter out masks from our ID that I have. So we just simply click on a color and sample a mask for that. Now we're going to use this mask later on to blend our materials together. In the video, I will be making a custom HTA that will set up material properties. So that means that we can have uh, very quickly material colors and roughnesses based on AOs and curvature and different patterns that we can plug into the tool. To itself, as you can see, it's nothing too complex. So we just, for example, grab our AO value and we're going to blend and subtract different parts from, from it to create the effect. So we're just basically blending different shapes together to create the effects that we want. And this is sort of like a procedural material or a smart material, as some would say. And we're also going to benefit from the new cable nodes, which allows us to pack multiple textures into one single line, which in this case will be our material. And we will work throughout the setup with this material, which is then a collection of these maps. And with those HDAs, we can create quickly materials like a plastic and a metal. And now we can just simply blend materials together or stack them on top of each other by just using a blend and a mask, for example, from their mask here before. And after we start to blend a lot of different things, you can see that we can now easily tweak with different values, like how much dirt buildup there should be in different parts of the mesh. So it's now an easy system where we sort of like stacking materials and blending materials together. And we can always just now quickly start to adjust this. So that's the base idea of the system. As you can see, here is a quick rundown of the system in action. I can now use my tools that have made my HTAs to quickly modify materials. I can quickly now change different colors or the metal feel of these shapes. So it's a now a nice procedural set, setup where I can start to tweak and play around and quickly build up material networks for my assets if I want to. And last but not least, after we are done, we can use the new output node. We can here simply sample all the uh, AOVs and we have a list of all the materials as you can see. And then the only thing we need to do is, is use the layer naming to then export all the materials or all the textures that we want. So that's it for this quick rundown. If you're interested in a bit more detailed breakdown and step-by-step -step guidance, I recommend you watching the other video, which is probably an hour long, and it will be step-by-step -step building each node from scratch. So you can build this as well if you want something like this or learn more about this workflow. Thank you for watching. If you feel to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next one.